Uh, Cassandra is also on the line. I'm going to admit her into the. Oh, it disappeared. Cassandra was on the line. Uh, for Walter Bresky, Bresky. Uh, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly. On the line as well. And I am going. If we're ready, I'm going to try to dial in Mr. Morgenthau. I texted Mr. De Jesus, but no answer yet. Okay, I'm dialing in Mr. Morgenthau right now. Oh. Hello. Hey, Mr. Morgenthau, this is uh, Jaime Jaramillo from Steinmetz. Uh, we're on the LSC meeting and we're recording right now. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so we have Mr. Morgenthau on the line. Hi, Mr. Morgenthau. Hey, Mr. Morgenthau. Hello. Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I guess get started. Uh, Today is the organizational meeting. Um, as you know, our LSC uh, the, was basically extended um, for until about November because of COVID. So even though new members have not taken in, uh, to have been put on the council and we haven't had elections yet, uh, the members that are currently on the council are gonna be extended um, until about November, until the, after the elections happen and everything else. So what we're going to do is today we're going to have our organizational meeting. Um, we do have Mr. Derek Stolnes, uh who signed up as community. Uh, we have Mr. Walter Br Bresky, uh on the line. I don't know if he wants to sign up to speak as community or not. Um, Mr. Can you please Mr. Angel the Hazes just joined us as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is... Um, I'm going to ask uh, Master Sergeant Davis to go ahead and take roll, and then what we're going to do is we're going to elect the president, um, and then after we elect the president, then we'll let the president take over the meeting at that point. Okay, so I'm going to put everybody on mute, so you're going to have to unmute yourselves if you want roll call. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Armia. Present. Ms. Vanessa. Ms. Valentine. Present. Mr. Keyless. Sergeant Davis, present. Ms. Russo. Present. Mr. Davis, Present. Ms. Hernandez. Present. Ms. Juarez. Ms. Lompkins. Mr. Morgenthau. Are you still online, Mr. Morgenthau? Yeah, he's still on the line. He's telling people to be quiet in the background. And Mr. Martin, uh, which graduated, so no, he doesn't, he doesn't graduate next year. Okay. We have seven present. We have a quorum. So. Okay, the next point of business uh, is we have to... Uh, basically uh, make nominations uh, or anybody can nominate themselves if they're interested in running for the parent position, I mean, for the uh, president position on the council. So do we have any nominations? You know, I ain't no need to put your head down. So I just say that uh, since uh, let's not uh, mess with the reinvent the wheel, just uh, I just continue to say, let's uh, keep Miss uh, Bonanza uh, Valentina as our chair. So we have a nomination for Miss Valentine for president of the local school council. Do we have anyone second? I'll second it. That's second by Miss Russo. So the motion is uh, for Miss Valentine to continue as president of the local school council. Uh, any discussion? Open Hello. 
Yeah, Mr. Morgenthau, we are voting on, or we're on discussion of, uh, there's been a, a motion on the table to elect Ms. Valentine to be the president of the local school council. Oh. Ms. Valentine for local school council president. Oh, yes. So we are- I'm on for it. Okay, so we're in open discussion right now. So it's open for discussion, anyone? I think the, the only nomination. It's. I think the only thing I I want to step back, Mr. Adamio, is we needed to adopt the agenda before we went into that. Okay. So we'll close this. Um, and I think since we have a motion on the table, we have to close the motion, and um, uh, and then bring it back. Yeah. All right. Close for discussion. All right, Master Sergeant, should we still take a, a vote? Or? I have to do the vote, uh, Mr. Harmio. Um, I guess we should all probably abstain at this point since we're going to go back into it, right? So I'm just going to say abstain for right now because we have to vote on the agenda. So I just got to throw all the names again. Miss Valentine. Abstain. Mr. Keyless. Sergeant Davis, abstain. Miss Russo. Abstain. Mr. Davis. I am, but I want to get up. I've been so busy. I'm abstain. I understand. I understand. I got you. Uh, we have uh, seven abstain. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Morgenthau. All right, I'm sorry, man. I'm just confused. What's going on? So, Mr. Morgenthau, what happened was is that uh, I, I I skipped over the approval of the agenda. So, what we're doing is we are uh, taking a vote, and everyone abstained for approving Ms. Valentine for president of the council. So what we're going to do is go back now to the agenda and approve the agenda and then go back to the vote again. The vote. Okay. So we're staying at 4, 12 p.m. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sergeant. All right. Uh, please, everyone, uh, the agenda was sent to you via email. Uh, please take a look at the agenda. Would anybody like to make a motion to approve the agenda for tonight's LSC meeting, July 8th, 2020 at 4 p.m.? I make a motion to adopt the agenda as presented for the July meeting. I second. 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 Okay, open for discussion. Um. Yeah, I would like to suggest that we, I see here that the order of it is to have the um, approval of the agenda and the minutes and then public participation and then election of officers. Should we move the election of officers ahead of the public participation in order to allow the officers to run the meeting? Yeah. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. So there's a motion to move up the election of the officers and then uh, continue with public participation. Correct. All right. So close for discussion. All right. So the um so basically we're voting on uh adoption of the agenda with the change of moving the election of officers ahead of the public participation correct correct okay 
So, uh, roll call vote, Vice Sergeant. Mr. Harmio. Yes. Miss Valentine. Yes. Mr. Keyless, not here. Sergeant Davis, yes. Miss Russo. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Mr. Hernandez. Yes. Uh, Mr. Morgenthau. Yes. Seven yes, no no's. Vote passed. Vote 15 p.m. All right. Thank you very much, Mass Sergeant. Um, next, we'll go back to the election of officers. Um, so first uh, office is uh, LSC Chair President. Um, do we have um, someone, um, <clears throat> excuse me, do we have any nominations? I'd like to reconfirm my nomination for Ms. Uh, Valentin. I'd like to re-second that. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Morgan, uh, we just had a uh, nomination for Ms. Valentin for president of the LSC and a second by Ms. Russo. Um, we're asking for any other nominations at this point. All right, if there are no other nominations, open for discussion for Ms. Valentin as LSC president chair. Okay, well, I just want to say that Ms. Valentin has done an outstanding job. So I, I second I, that. I favor her. Uh... Thank you, uh, Mr. Morgenthau and Mr. Jesus. Anyone else? I, I guess the only comment that I have is I will accept the nomination. I think one thing that I would love to um, see from my council body is for you guys to give me realistic expectations of what you expect me as your LSC chair to do and accomplish uh, on, on, on this new journey. Um, it will be helpful for me so then we continue to grow um, and continue to bring the resources to our school. All right, anyone else? All right, close for discussion. Uh, Mass Sergeant, roll call vote. Mr. Armia? Yes. Uh, Ms. Valentin, of course. Uh, do I have to vote for myself? Yes, oh, yes you got to vote. I, I guess, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Keelis is not here. Sergeant Davis, yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Davis, too? Yes. Ms. Hernandez? Yes. yes. And Mr. Morgenthau? Yes. Seven yes, no pass, 418 p.m. All right, thank you very much, Master Sergeant. At this point, I'm going to turn over the meeting to our new president, who will continue from there with the election of the officers. Okay, so we're, um, we are now voting for the local school council vice chair. Uh, this person uh, will assist um, to running the meetings um, and assisting when the president is not available. Uh, so any nominations at this time? I nominate Cassandra Hernandez. I'll second it. I respectfully decline. Okay. Hello. Yes, Mr. Morgan thought we're nominating for vice chair. Any nominations? No, I, no one wants to nominate. No one wants to step up and do that role. If it can be any position, teacher, can you turn it, I'll do it. Can you turn it up a little bit? Okay. So there's a nomination of Ms. Russo. Could someone second that? 
I second that. Okay, open for discussion. Close. Yeah, I think, I, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure that uh, is it okay for a staff member, or does it, does it can it be, or is it only supposed to be a parent or community member as vice president? So I just want to make sure before I we wasn't take sure of that either. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I just want to um, looking at the uh, reference guide. I think it has to be a parent. I think so too. So, I think it's a parent or community rep. Okay, I'm uh, see chapter two. One second. I apologize, the manual told me to go to chapter two and I'm trying to locate chapter two for right now, uh, page 63. Yeah, Mr. Morgenthau, we are checking the uh, LSD manual just to verify that we are correct in um, in our, our voting. What are you voting on? We're voting on the vice president, but right now we are in uh, open discussion. So we're just trying to make sure that uh, we are... Um... The vice here has to be a parent. Okay, because I'm, the vice chair has to be able to take over the, the chair. Okay, the chair, the chair is a parent, therefore the vice chair must be a parent. Just due to the circumstances, I don't think that there is any other parent besides myself, and to fill the vacancy, I think that there is no other option. Uh. uh Yeah, I'm, I'm reading it here. Um, I see chairperson. And it gives the description what the chairperson does. It gives the description of the vice chairperson. Doesn't necessarily say uh, if it's a parent or a community, but uh, I think our collective knowledge tells us the best practice and that the rules are supposed to be apparent. Um, so I think, Ms. Russo, that would disqualify you from uh, being able to take it. So we very graciously thank you for being willing to step up. Uh, yeah. But at this point, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure until I could find the exact uh, wording, I think uh, you don't qualify. Understood. All right, so I guess close for discussion. Right, Ms. Valentine? Cassandra, so you are accepting it, sure. correct? I think, yeah, it'll be contingent in, into if there's, an, uh, if there's another re-election, I think this might be just a temporary position for me. But I'll, I'll accept in the meantime. All right, you guys. All right, Mr. Keeler joined us as well. I I was in the wrong Jaime. The wrong meeting? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
so we do have a, a motion on the table and we're we are in a open discussion so i guess we'd have to close this one out yeah so we're closing for discussion uh, voting for cassandra hernandez for lsc vice chair can we restate the uh the the nomin who nominated who did the motion and who seconded the note? Oh, I nominated Cassandra. What? Who's back in there? Mr. Harmiel did. Mr. Harmiel did. Yeah. What's happening? So we were going over who nominated Cassandra, who seconded. We closed the discussion and we're going into voting. All right, I'm sorry. So where are we at right now? Because it, there's a lot of background noise and it's hard to, to hear. Waiting for a roll call vote for Cassandra's mm -hmm. nomination. Mr. Harmiel? Yes. Ms. Valentin? Yes. What are we voting on? For the vice chair for Cassandra. Oh, uh, oh what are we voting on? For the vice chair? And the person is Cassandra. Mr. Keyless. Oh, who is the uh, nominee? Cassandra oh. Hernandez. Okay. Mr. Keyless. Uh, Sergeant Davis, yes. Ms. Russo. Yes. Mr. Dave Sue. Yes. Ms. Hernandez. Yes. Mr. Morgenthau. Yes. Uh, seven yes, no one vote. Uh, motion passed, 427. Okay. Now we move down to another very important position for the LSC, uh, which is our local school council secretary. We're open up for nominations. Any nominations? Sergeant Davis. Sergeant Davis won't be here the full year. Uh, I'm not going to be here for the full year. Well, I understand that, but we'll nominate you for whatever time you're here. I second that because uh, none of us are going to be here for the full year. Roger. So are you accepting Master Sergeant Davis? Uh, yes, uh, I accept. January is right around the corner. I, I see you, Miss Russo. Okay. Close for discussion. So who was who it seconded by? Or is that Master Sergeant second it? Oh, I'll second that. It was second that one. No, it was second by Jose. Oh, that's right. Open for discussion. Close for discussion. Roll call vote. Mr. Hermio. Yes. Ms. Valentin. Yes. Mr. Keyless. Yes. Gordon Davis, yes. Ms. Russo. Emphatically, yes. <laughs> Mr. Davis, too. Yes, yes, yes. Ms. Hernandez. Yes. Uh, Mr. Morgenthau. Yes. Eight yes votes, no, no votes. Motion passed 429. Okay. The next um, office we will be voting for is Sergeant of Arms. This is the person that keeps the meeting going in order and on task. Any nominations? I nominate myself. 
I second that. Open for discussion. Close for discussion. Roll call vote. Mr. Harmeo. Yes. Mr. Valentin. Yes. Um, Mr. Keyless. Yes. Sergeant Davis, yes. Ms. Russo. Yes. Mr. Dave Seuss. Yep. Ms. Hernandez. Yes. Mr. Morgenthau. Yes. Eight yes votes. No, no votes. Motion passed 430. All right. So we said after the vote, we will go to public participation. Public participation. Uh, first up, we have Mr. Derek, how you pronounce your name, sir? The Winnie? Uh, Sonny's. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Harmeo <laughs> is going to do the introduction. Uh, so uh, he's first up to speak. All right, just real briefly, I want to introduce, uh, as you know, we have a, a new assistant principal. Uh, it was a very long process, uh, interviewed, uh, there was approximately 70 candidates. Uh, we interviewed about eight and narrowed it down to your final two. And uh, they were interviewed not only by the admin team, but also by the ILT. And uh, our, my final decision uh, was to uh, select Mr. Derek Svelnys. I'll allow him to introduce himself and we're very happy to have you as part of our team. Uh, so Mr. Svelnys, go right ahead. All right. Well. Thank you. Nice to meet everyone here on this little weird virtual setting here, especially I've, I've been on LSCs before as a teacher rep, and it's, you know, just trying to figure out what's going on in this virtual setting. It's not that easy. Um, but this upcoming year will be my 19th year in the district. Um, I'm excited to join the Steinmetz team. Um, I've, my primary objective in the, when I was back in the classroom was I was a physics teacher. So the freshman physics, seniors, AP, dual credit. Um, and I've served on or led ILTs, grade level teams. Um, I was a STEM curriculum coach. So I've done a lot of operational uh, things at schools before. Um, prior to being at Steinmetz, I was at DeVry this past school year. Um, I was at Crane as an instructional coach uh, but my longest stint, I did 13 years over at Rickover Naval Academy, which is now kind of just north of uh, us, just north of us now. They just moved into the Luther North area. And I was one of the ones that kind of helped start that school way back in 2003 when we were still in the planning phases of it. So, you know, a lot of like obstacles that CPS put in front of us, we were kind of on the front lines of trying to actually get around all of that. I mean, hell, we had protesters protesting the school when we first opened. Like, we had to literally escort all the kids out the, out of the building because it was just that contentious. So it was it was a very, very interesting start of the school and start of a school year. So and I've been working with uh, Mr. Harmio and Ms. Williams over the past week or so, or since I officially started with Steinmetz on some projects and just getting to know the school. You know, all the different programs, you know, going through all the documents that he sent me. So I figured, you know, the, the LSC meeting, I know it's the organizational one. I figured I'll just stop by, say hi, so you can put the face to the name. And I hope that whenever we're back, like, live in person, um, you know, we'll see each other around around the campus. Thank you. So I, don't want, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Thank you. Welcome to the Steinmetz family. As we say to everyone, we're resilient. Um, we are trying to do everything we can every day as a school community. So we uh, welcome you on board. Uh, this is a console that has high expectations um, and want to be part of uh, the growth and everything that's going on in the school. Uh, so you uh, could come with me as a parent and I'll definitely will I'll be searching for you to have a one-on-one -on -one and just get to know each other um, and continue to work together. No, thank you, and that's, and that's awesome. You know, the, the 
strong schools have strong LLCs with good parent parent participation in it. So you know, without the parents on board, we can't get our stu our students on board either. And also, thank you for all your work. Uh, Anyone else? Welcome, 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 sir. Mr. Walter. Great. So we have another uh, community. Uh, Mr. Walter, he signed out last month, but since he's here, I would like to offer the table for him, Mr. Brzezinski. If I pronounce your name wrong, I apologize. But Mr. Walter, the floor is open. Hello, Walter. Are you joining? Uh, he sent. He has a chat. It's in the chat. He has the only question is SRO. I'm sorry. He has a question about school resource officer. Um, what's going on with the school resource officer? And I guess we can just for next year. So I could tell you what I know from our end. This was an item that was voted last year. Uh, CPS had requested local school councils to make the decision uh, with collecting data from parents, students, and community. Uh, we, as a council last year, voted uh, to keep our SRO officers. Uh, we did work very uh, closely with our principal and our commander of the 25th district to make sure that the SRO officers were reflective of our students and understood the cultures and challenges that our students had. So we did get a new SRO officer in the building uh, for the school year. As far as I knew, um, the relationship between the students and the SROs um, was great. Uh, we even had students that were new to the building and could not participate from their lunches and different activities. And that was the room where they felt it was a safe space. As of last year, um, we did vote on it as a council. We're more than willing to continue to have the conversation as we move into the next year. But as far as I know from our end, that was a vote that we did uh, last school year. And if I if I may, uh, in the comments, uh, Mr. Walter Bursky added, will you be voting on that today? Uh, the answer is no, we will not be voting on that today. About two hours before our LSC meeting today, communication was sent uh, on behalf of the district stating that LSCs will be asked to vote on SROs to conduct a vote between 7.15 and 8.15. Uh, so probably at our next meeting, we will be voting on that, but not at this meeting. Um, CPS will be sending out uh, supporting information for LSCs, and that information will uh, be available to the LSCs by 7.15. Um, and today is the 8th, and although I do know that in the newspaper, it was reported that one public school um, did vote ahead of time. And according to the communication I received from CPS, it states that if LSCs conduct, conducted their vote in the last few weeks, that is okay and those will be accepted. Uh, but we're not in that position and we're not voting on that today. We will be voting on it at our next LSC meeting in August. Uh, you wrote, thank you. Oh, just, just for the, uh, the benefit of uh, other members, um, they had a, uh, at the last board meeting, they had a very uh, uh, robust debate on the um, uh, school resource offices and the um, they, and so people people might want to watch watch that it's on Saturdays on uh, Channel 21, and also um, they did vote to uh, let the um, local school councils continue to make the decision on whether they wanted SROs.
Thank you for that feedback, Mr. Morgenthau. Anything else from public participation? No? Jaime, Master Sergeant, any other comments? No. Okay. Uh, I just had the uh, only comment I have because I mean we're we're going to start the new school year and we actually we really don't know if we're going to be there or here at the beginning of the school year, but regardless, I mean uh, we do have uh, we start the school year with uh, three short, and we just got to you know full push ahead to make sure we get those members because uh, you know things are coming up in these times where where people are getting sick we get one or two sick and and we won't have you know a quorum. And they won't do our uh, student justice. So, if we know anybody, you know anybody out there? Uh, I mean, maybe by our next meeting, we can at least vote uh, to fill these positions uh, up into January. So we'll make sure that uh, we have a quorum because I mean, people are getting sick at during these times. And I just want to make sure that uh, we do have a quorum every year. Are the vacancies all parent vacancies? Uh, let me. Uh, so, if I may. Uh, so if you look at the vacancy, they are all, they are all parent uh, vacancies. Uh, we're looking at uh, two started this year, two started last school year, when I say this school year, last school year. And I'm not for sure if Ms. Suarez student is still in school, uh, uh, but, uh, and then we got Ms. Lumpkins, and then we had two vacancies already. Right. So, right. so do we have to fill? So right now uh, I'm looking at, we have to fill four, Parent position four. Well, well, uh, for for any parent uh, that's on the council, we have to make sure we follow the procedures and send them a notification and everything else if we haven't done that yet. But for the two vacancies, yeah, we can move forward with uh, trying to to get someone for for those. We can send announcements out to parents, and I'm sure. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, do because the council is being extended would parents of new freshmen be able to qualify for that position yes yes okay yeah there'll be parents, so yes absolutely okay so if there's anything that's enough for freshmen orientation please can, let me know that a great place to recruit yeah, yeah. can i, I revoke them again though in january because they cannot get on the ballot so yeah i think you have to revoke them again in january can i ask the question uh, since the uh, election was going to take place in April, uh, did we have any applications of parents that are not in the council uh, available? No. I, I, I do. I actually, did you talk about it was it was going to run and not on right now that we can ask to come on? That was. Uh, yeah, did that's. We, right. we do have one, right, sir? Antonio, uh, we have for, one. For parent, I don't remember for parent. I know we did have a community, but I don't remember if there was one for parent. I would have to look it up. Because I, I think we should look at that uh, at that application and call that parent in uh, because of the election being in November, we have a chance to. Uh, uh, pick up uh, the other two that are vacant. Uh, now, the other two that we are pending, I think those, until we get an okay from uh, Mr. Hanamiju, if the if the kids are still with us or not, we cannot make it uh, open. And if we have a council member that hasn't show up, we need to uh, send letters out to them. Correct. So we're talking about filling the two vacancies. There's actually two vacant spots. So we'll circle back, Mr. Adamillo, to see if there was any parent applicant. We'll definitely. I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I just confirmed there there was one. Okay. So yeah. we should out to that parent and offer that vacant position currently, right? And then follow up with Ms. Um, Lumpkins and Suarez and see where they're at and continue our recruitment efforts with the incoming freshmen and sophomores that are in the building, or any parent for that sake. Great, so we're going back into our agenda quickly. 
Um, there's a motion to approve um, the minute from June to trans transfer them from audio to text. So taking the audio and making it um, available in writing. So there's a motion for the June min minutes for that. Anyone wants to second that? I second that. Uh, could you make it a little bit more clear? I didn't understand. So we've been doing these remote calls, right? They're being recorded. We need to take the audio that was recorded and transfer into writing. So writing it in, out into text. So then we have it available at the office. Did that clarify your question? Uh, yes, it did. But since everybody is recording these meetings, uh, wouldn't that be our, our record? We've had a discussion before how um, they've been wanting the tax online. So it's it actually to address community residents' concern about transparency. Okay, well, you know, I don't want to be hard, but, if, you know, we see these meetings that we, we go through every month. And if any uh, community uh, person wants to uh, be in the meeting, they're more than welcome. It's an open meeting. So, you know, what they're asking is our secretary to work twice the amount of time uh, it's up to the secretary. I, I, I would, I wouldn't push the issue because if anybody wants to know about the meeting, they should be here at the meeting. Well, I, I would tell you that I would tell you that it takes a while to transcribe from uh, digital to. It took me a while to do, Mr. Thomas Simpson. But I, but then I realized because going through this uh, digital learning, uh, it's. It's well worth it. I have to do it because there are some parents that don't have computers. So because of that reason, uh, I didn't want to do it at first, but I called LSU, LSU Relations. They, they said it was up to us. But now that I know that there are some parents that are not lucky enough to have computers, and I, I might have to do it in the future. So uh, I just think it's just best to just do them both. Well, let me ask you a question. Is, is, I mean, is there a problem with getting the recording either from the office or from central, from central office, uh, if you really want to know what happened. No, but I no, it's not. But I do, I do think that because uh, I was, I mean, I had that same mindset too until I started dealing with students doing remote learning. So now I do agree that we should have both. I just want to make sure that they're both accurate, and that's why Mr. Harmiel sent you, sent them to me, and then I dictate them. It takes me some time, but but. Uh, I think that it's worth it, and I think we need to do it for our, our parents. Uh, if you go online now, every meeting note except for Jones are on there. Every last one of them is on that, even the notices. They're, they're on our website. Right. But at the last LC meeting, right, we want to make sure, right, that we're following the LSC rules. So we don't have to post them online, is the clarification they gave no, us. You, no, we, you don't. The information will be available in the office. Yes. Uh, it's just easier now for me now because it took the school was closed down for what ten days, <laughs> so it's not. It's just easier now. So I went in and got everything that I needed, so I can work from home now. Right, but but we want to be clear. We're just transferring the audio to text, and all our minutes will be in the Steinman's main office. Any other discussion? Close for discussion. All in favor? Roll call. Mr. Armillo? Yes. Ms. Valentine? Yes. Mr. Keelan? All right. Sergeant Davis, yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Davis, yes. Yes, sir. Ms. Hernandez? Yes. Mr. Morthal. Yes. Eight yes, 
No, no. Motion passed 449 p.m. The last item that we need to vote in this or organizational uh, meeting is we need to adopt our meeting dates um, and times for the 2019-2020 school year. Um, thank you in advance, Mr. Jaramillo. You put something together. Um, we want to review it and discuss it. I know that other members have already did their organizational meetings with their other schools they participate. So want to make sure that this schedule is not interfering um, with what you guys have um, at your other schools and locations. Well, um, I make a motion that we just follow the same uh, schedule. Same day, same time. Any Anyone seconds that? Uh, Ms. Valentin, uh, do I have permission to uh, put the uh, schedule um, uh, that I that I put together on the screen so everyone can see it? Let Sorry. me. Let me second it. We'll discuss it because it might be, I think, uh, what uh, Mr. Jaramillo is going to present is almost the same thing that we uh, were following. I think it's the second, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Jaramillo. That's correct. Uh, the second week of the second Wednesday of each month, um, with the exception of November. Um, November 11th falls on a Wednesday, and it's a holiday. So in that case, we would move the the meeting to November 12th. Okay. So, so I'm going to second uh, uh, Matthew's. Uh, okay, we're open motion. for discussion. Um, since we're open for discussion, um, historically, we've always postponed having a meeting on the first week of school. So there's two options there to consider, which would be September 9th, which is the first week of school, or move it to the second week of school, September 16th. The other one to look at is November 12th, because the 11th is a holiday. And uh, all the rest of the meetings, the only other thing is to look at is um, in August, I, I assume that we're still gonna be meeting virtually. I don't know if by September, we're gonna be back in the building or not. Um, so I put on here, meetings are going to be at 5 p.m. Second Wednesday of each month in room 128, unless otherwise noted. It is otherwise noted on August 12th at 4 p.m. virtually. And I assume we'll be back um, in, uh, in our LSC meeting room by September. But if not, we'll have to put on an announcement about that later. Anyone has an issue with these dates, times? So we're going to close the discussion. Roll call vote. Mia. Yes. Ms. Valentine. Yes. Ms. Kikita. Yes. Sergeant Davis, yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Davis, please? Yes. Ms. Hernandez? Yes. And Mr. Morgan Carl. Yes. A yes, no, no. Vote passed 4.53 p.m. So this would adjourn our June um, LC organizational meeting. I'm sorry, July organizational meeting. Um, we will regroup back um, to review the items still pending for the next month on August 12th at 4 p.m. And we will join virtually and we will make sure that we post the agenda on the website. If no one has anything else, um, the motion to adjourn. A second. Discussion? Close for discussion on paper. Mr. Hamio? Yes. Ms. Valentin? Yes. Mr. Keelan? 
Yes. Sorry, Davis Ness, Ms. Russo. Yes. Mr. Davis Cruz. Yes. Ms. Hernandez. Yes. Mr. Morgenthau. Yes. A yes vote, no no vote. Motion passed 455. Need to adjourn. Thank you guys. All right, thank you, everybody. Be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Spelnies. All right, thank you. Have a stay safe, everyone. Take care, sir. Thank you, Mr. Walters. Stay safe as well, sir. Stay cool. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs>